Are you a Star Wars fan? Want to print your own Millennium Falcon? Join me today as we print the Millennium Falcon on the CR-10. See you inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are printing the Millennium Falcon. Now, this print is a little bit different than what I normally show on the channel as there are five parts that I'm gonna print on the table at one time. So, we've gotta get the parts all put together, but let's take care of a little business real quick first. If you enjoy your content, what you see here today, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let us know it's a good video, that you enjoyed it, and hit that notification bell, so that way you continue to get notifications from the channel. Um, we, we want to keep you guys coming here and we want to see what you get. So, as you can see, I'm loading in all the pieces, the front and the back. And this model also has a ship in one full piece. I printed it in two um, just to kind of make it easier for me um, to try to put it together. I didn't have to worry about as much plate adhesion because I'm printing on the midline. But you do have some concerns sometimes printing this way with warping and different things with the model like that. So it's always something to kind of keep in mind when you get the model ready. I didn't size it up this time. I just kind of kept it kind of small. Will I probably print another Millennium Falcon later on? Probably. Right now I'm just multiplying the pegs that, that come with this model to put the model together. Um, for this two piece, I, I multiplied it by two. Uh, that way I have three pegs. You only, it only needs two, but I went ahead and made myself an extra peg just in case because, hey, you know, stuff breaks. So we're going to get this model sliced and we're going to get into the <clears throat> into the, uh, into the print. At the end, you'll see a time lapse of the completed or a stop motion of the completed model. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into that print. 